Hello again everybody, this is Amergan and you're very welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Fleet Command Guides. And it's been quiet enough and I'm jumping straight into this. I know I said that I wouldn't be the first man out to do a video on this. I don't think I am, but it's been quiet enough and people have been calling for videos on this uh, new update and what's going on. We can see the splash screen there for the, the event, the Threat From Beyond event that uh, is supposedly there to help us acquire the materials to get through some of this uh, new galaxy research. So I'm going to jump straight into the research here, guys, and we're going to give uh, first impressions on... Uh, on how, how it comes across to me, I, I had been looking at it already, of course, I've done a little bit of um, research already, it's been a day or two since this has come out, uh, I was going to hold off and try and do this uh, this video in a couple of days, I believe that there's more stuff to come in a couple of days, um, but we'll jump in and do a first impressions anyway, allowing for the fact that uh, this is not finalised, maybe that there are other little things to be revealed uh, yet, or at least that's my hope. So my first impression when I jumped in, guys, the first thing I seen here was warp technology. We were all looking at this, um, got the first level of it uh, researched, and... Uh, Seeing that it was purely just warp speed, uh, had a wee nosy round, realised there's actually no warp range um, uh, research here at all. That's the first impression that I got was a major disappointment, no warp range. What the hell? So I moved on from that and thought, okay, well maybe some of that there is to come. And I went on, I seen Prime Officers and I looked at this and I said 100% attack, I went lovely. And then I looked up here at this, uh, at the uh, the gas that's required here, and I thought I, uh, zero out of a hundred. And then I noticed this that uh, it was grade four, and I was like, "What in God's name is going on here?" I mean, like I have access to some high level systems. I've been around this game a long time. I've been up in dark space numerous times, places where you guys can't get. To. I've been up there. I've seen the G four nodes. If you've seen my last video, you'll see that some of the guys have access to G four nodes a hundred rare it's hard enough to get the rare refined g3 a hundred rare refined gas now we'll come back to this in a minute we'll come back to the pay to win aspect of this in a wee minute but that was the next major disappointment that i faced and then i looked around some of the other stuff and i wasn't too disappointed all these improvements to mining and different things and i was scrolling through it and i thought right okay I'm, I'm happy with some of this, talking to other people out in the community, there is a level of happiness with this because it's nice to be able to do research of any kind. It's been a while from, I've been sitting out here uh, with, uh, I'll just show you here, with, uh, these two things here where you're, you're building and you're, ref uh, you're researching all of the time. I was always doing my buildings when I had the resources. The The research for me had stagnated. So it's nice to be able to go in there and research anything. So that's that's welcome. It's welcome that there are improvements in the research generally. Um, another thing worth noting here and very nice, uh, um, the patch 10 release notes. Okay, we'll come to that in a wee second. Um, the special monthly event, The Threat From Beyond, that's on at the moment. We'll take a quick look at that in a minute. Uh, shout out to Elkars. Um, uh, hopefully we'll do a wee video on, on Elkars. Elkars have been, uh, been very useful so far for a lot of people uh, in terms of finding out what's going on with the new update. So I recommend people head over to Elkars. Um, there's the advertisement for social media platforms. And lo and behold, there we go. There's the content creators and Muggins here at the top of the list. Uh, a wee shout out to Scopely and Panic in particular for uh, for putting the names out there, for getting the, uh, the attention onto some of the content creators. It's always welcome. So we'll jump into these events here just very, very briefly. So these events are designed to help us get the, the research done. And we're jumping in here and looking at it and uh, combat enhancement so this is for swarm so uh, that's standard enough that's close enough to my dailies on the swarm now it's worth a mention here that some people are given out that their franklin uh, has been nerfed uh, I, I haven't seen the evidence of that yet but uh, some people are given out about that now uh, tritanium tokens there at 20 points um oh, sorry dilithium tokens there at 20 points uncommon refined gas that goes up more dilithium tokens more dilithium tokens. So we're looking at, uh, what is that, 700,000 dilithium they're all in. Um, a little bit more, a little bit over, 730. Yeah, 
So uh, just say maybe 800,000 dilithium there available from completing that. And you should be able to complete that um, by uh, by killing, a, what is it, uh, 15 of those level 30s for me. It'll be d different for your level, guys. So uh, nice way of getting a little bit of dilithium. That's welcome enough, of course. I'll join this Romulan reputation here. Another thing that they've improved there is the, the ability to get uh, points for your, for your faction. Again, we'll come to that in a wee minute. Um... The Galaxy uh, Research and Development uh, Heroic. Um, complete your researches. Uh, one power increased, one research. 45k, you get one Marcus Shard and a handful of uh, recruit tokens. Now, that's shabby enough unless you're going out and winning that. Now, the chances of a free-to-play player or somebody who doesn't spend an awful lot of money in terms of speed-ups um, and all of that that it would require to get 225,000 uh, points on the board, it's a tough enough task. We've got over a week to do it, so maybe it's more doable. Uh, I'll rush through some of my research because I'm lucky enough to have some speed-ups, but some of you guys that don't have speed-ups, that, that's a tough enough ask. Um, Presumably designed to get you to spend your money on the uh, the speed up packs and stuff like that. We'll come back to the packs again now in a wee second as well. Um, there's your uh, your alliance uh, leaderboard, uh, complete research. So we're doing all right. Uh, Homer doing all right there. So uh, I'll not complain too much about that. A lot of that's down to the strength of my alliance, though. Um, some of the guys in my alliance aren't free to play, so uh, so that that's the the benefit of that. Standard officer event there. Uh, research and development solo leaderboard guys. Uh, again, complete research, uh, complete nodes, um, unlocking the primes. You can see with all of that there, we've been looking. At, we looked at the primes, and uh, quite expensive there. If you want to try that, complete nodes. It's really just the completing research bit. We've got uh, twenty hours left on that. I'm in rank twenty eight. I'm, I'm not doing too bad. I imagine on other servers, uh, it's. Uh, it's tougher, but you look at the shabbiness of those rewards down there. When I'm doing all right at level 28, I've done a few researches. Two star ore? Come on, you're having a laugh. That That's that's shabby, shabby rewards. What is it in first place? So to win that 1200 latinum, not that amazing. Um, I know you guys are after your uncommons and your rares, like so that might be nice enough, but you have to go and win that, that event. That's a leaderboard event. Um, you're not going to win that event unless you fork out, so... Uh, not worth it. Uh, shabby enough rewards in the leaderboard there for solo. Uh, that's my opinion on it anyway. Um, and uh, is that is that them all? There's the milestone. Solo milestone. Let's have a wee look in there. Again, complete the research. One power. I still haven't got to the first tier. 150k Tritanium. But again, it's not gonna. It's not gonna get me all excited. Like it's. Uh, it's shabby enough there uh, as you go up through that 225k, but 20 hours to do that, not that chance am I going to get 45k in 20 hours or 40k in 20 hours just to complete that. There's nothing there that would that would make me want to go all out and get 2 million Tritanium out of it, uh, two, 3 million Tritanium, whatever that works out at. Um, so... A mixed bag as always guys, uh, some decent things, some crappy things, um, again I didn't see much consultation with the community out there as to how we feel about this uh, before it's launched, I didn't see much uh, much information revealed uh, in terms of allowing people to uh, to get a heads up and discuss it and maybe offer a... Uh, offer contributions i didn't see any word of any testing of any of this going on anywhere so um so yeah all in shabby enough there in terms of the rewards that's supposed to be helping us in here in this new research tree so we're going to pop back in here for a second uh, as i go through it there's a number of things there, all quite nice uh once you unlock that uh, Tritanium Hunter, you'll be able to farm Tritanium at a greater way rate, all of that, great. There's your Survey Warp. Again, it's speed. speed. I'd much rather spend an extra five minutes traversing the galaxy in a slow-ass ship rather than not being able to reach these nodes, these G4 nodes and whatever. Uh, anyway, now, there is more to come in the game. Hopefully, one of the things they're going to be releasing soon is the ability, an easier option there for free-to-play players to be able to go and get G4 materials, G4 rares to unlock these primes at some point. The whales are going to buy this stuff straight up. They're going to... Already, a lot of guys have bought packs here, and they're out there with their prime officers 
and different things because they've gone out and they've spent the money. Scopely have made the bulk of the money that they're going to make off these in their immediate hit. Yet imagine their their uh, their profit margins. Uh, the graph on that has just shot up in the first couple of days. Maybe there's another couple of days there where people are going to fork out for that. But that's gonna that's gonna level off after a while and it's gonna drop. Uh, it's in that week after all of the new shiny stuff is bought by the people with lots and lots of money that the rest of the poor folk then should have a reasonable chance of being able to get that uh, prime officer's prime research done. Um, you can see here Romulan devotion is what I'm looking at. Um, I like that. The plus minus Romulan point for using a Romulan ship. So that's presumably plus and minus to the amount of reputation that I can get. Uh, things like this weapon refactor if I have these uh, these other ones done all damage will be increased so there is boosts and improvements that I can get free to play but these primes uh, what doesn't make sense here is if you look at this for example right um, there's prime crystal refining that I've done uh, I've got ready to go because I've unlocked this crystal miner here in the early part of the research but when we look at it Again, 1,000 uncommon refined crystal. Madness. The 28.5 million dilithium's bad enough. Madness on that. Uh, but even if I could afford that, um, let's take a wee look then if we want to do gas. So gas requires a level 30 R&D department. So I can research that now I'm level 29. Uh, but I'm not allowed to research the gas until I'm level 30. And then it gets worse. I'm Romulan reputation. So I'm I'm mining an awful lot of uh, of ore. Uh, 32. Level 32 before I can even touch that. That's months, maybe years away for me at free to play. So I can't even get the boost on that. Even if I had the resources to, to pay for it or, or whatever. I can't get that unless I'm buying a heap of packs and rushing through the things. Now, there's other things you can look at in your own time there. Leave your comments below, guys, on a specific piece of research. If uh, if there's something that you really like or something that you really dislike. But what I want to do here is um, uh, I want to look at the announcements uh, what was actually said in the first place go through that I'm going to do a follow up video to this guys like I say I wasn't planning to do this all out in one go um, it's a, it's an impressions for where we stand at the moment some people are looking for some information on some thoughts on it so I'm quite happy to give you my thoughts and share that with you and have you guys coming back with your thoughts so uh, there's the patch release notes so advance your station r &D department level 20 grand job uh, so enhanced galaxy travel, we'd all privately and quietly hope that that would allow uh, warp uh, ranges to be improved. Maybe we have yet to see that coming into the game. Maybe it's not all a downer. Uh, if Scopely want to recoup some of the uh, some of the goodwill towards this update, then they need to uh, they need to introduce something like uh, improved warp ranges, some ability uh, there, or something that we can improve warp ranges with. Maybe new officers are going to come in with warp range. Uh, but bonuses who knows but uh, it's not there at the minute a lot of people down in the mouth about that faster better mining refining all of that there now some people are giving out about the refining rate saying that their uncommons have uh, slowed down they're not getting as many uncommons other people have said well that's a random calculator so uh, you can't go on that um, some people have said they're getting their uncommons but there seems to be a lot of giving out out there about uh, the, the refinery rates and uh, how, how they're coming out so that's something to watch guys um Improved stats, well sure, we've already looked at the prime, um, that's the one you want, uh, the, the, the pay to win are going to be uh, are gonna be straight ahead, now I know you need to look after the golden circle, you need to look after all the big spenders, but Jesus, give us a realistic chance of catching up with them within the weeks that follow, um, and, and let us know that that's there, what's more, the communication is always like we say guys, uh, let the community know that they uh, that just have the full intention and explain what that is going to be. Don't be tying down the content creators with their NDAs and saying you're not allowed to tell anybody. Tell us that free to play is going to have prime officer uh, uh, options in the next couple of weeks if we do events if we do grinds if we try to do it the free to play way don't just have this uh, wall of silence where we, we don't know if we're going to get it and it looks like the whales are just getting everything and the rest of us are left behind that's what it is that gives rise to this uh, complaining that uh, Scopely are just money grabbers and all the negative stuff that's out there come on guys waking up maybe you just don't care maybe you just don't care maybe you just don't listen to the people and you're sitting there laughing while you're kinding and if that's the case well sure we'll see how this product goes in the in the future and what sort of reputation you you will manage to to define for yourselves in the in the future? But the reality is, with Digit there now, with Scopely there, um, 
the communication with the community as to what is actually there in the pipeline is more useful rather than just this and then you're not allowed to say any more. Um, but en- enough of the ranting for a minute. We'll get back into some of that later on. Increased power steel, titanium, dilithium for refi- defeating hostiles. All through research, grand stuff. Become more effective against the swarm. Now again, some people have said that their, fr- that their Franklins are not as effective now. People are giving out that the, the loot boxes are much, much uh, less. That the, it, it used to be, I remember the days, and some of you guys might remember the days, where every hostile you killed, you got a loot box for it. Um, that was removed and it worked out roughly at 1 in 3, 1 in 2, 1 in 3 kind of loot boxes. Sometimes you'd go 4 or 5 kills without getting a loot box. People are talking about drastic uh, drop in the amount of loot boxes from farming. Uh, a lot of people giving out about the Franklin. So if you've had an experience like that, share that as well, guys. Uh, cost efficiency. Now, some people are giving out about the cost efficiency that the, the costs for some, uh, some ships have gone up. Again, share your thoughts on that. Um, the gas for Federation or for Romulan, all of that. We looked at the research tree there. Uh, if you're Romulan and you're working with ore and you've got Romulan ships, well, uh, tough shit on you because uh, if I wanna, if I wanna really get those uh, those buffs for the for uh, for mine uh, in. Uh, in, in that res- in the new galaxy research, I have to be level thirty two before I can I can do that. And there's a Romulan like why can't I, I can go do crystal at the minute? I'm not Klingon. I'm Romulan. I want to be able to do it at the same level. Um, make your station harder to defeat. Uh, flat bonus to station defense. All of this very welcome because it's nice to be able to keep continuing to do research. So the people that are relatively satisfied out there at the moment are the people who are just glad to be able to research and 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 have something to do in the game instead of just repeated ha- rehashed. Events that we see every day uh, further combat improvements okay um, all nice enough in the research there I'm not knocking all of the research tree guys just certain parts of it and the stuff that you, that hits you first is the stuff that leaves a sour taste in the mouth uh, daily goals I haven't seen too much of a too much of a change to the daily goals yet but um, that it will follow sometime this week so we're hoping that within the daily goals this is the answer we're hoping that within the daily goals that that's where we're going to see the options for free to play to be able to achieve these things now we don't want these ridiculous uh, impossible to reach um, goals that we had before the swarm daily goals were very welcome I've managed to accrue some of the the uh, loyalty tokens we ta- talked before about the how ridiculous it is to call them loyalty tokens when they're so tough to get. Now they're a little bit easier to get, so that's all very welcome. Now hopefully we'll see more achievable um, dailies where we can actually go out and get the the rare, the, the four-star rare um, materials that we need for the likes of the prime research and all of that. Now an interesting thing here, guys, and I ask you to, to take a moment and look at this and read this. Uh, it says, in the recent update, you saw the new daily swarm goals marked in the first step to improve an ability to engage with the feature. This update will is next and even an even more drastic step. We will continue to monitor the feature to drive further improvements. And if we go up there a little bit, you'll see there and the, it says uh, we closely monitored the completion rates across the different player levels, gathered player feedback, and evaluate changes to the setup. Well. The feed, there's plenty of feedback there, so there's plenty of options to gather that feedback. You'd hope it's the truth. I, I can't see why they would tell absolute lies here. Uh, you would hope it was the truth that they have monitored the completion rates and the different player levels. So what this is saying to me, guys, we will continue to monitor the feature to drive further improvements. So the thing about it is, guys, if we're not achieving the objectives... If you're what people have called for boycotts and all in the future, if you're really that unhappy, just don't do the events. Just don't try to complete them at all. And then if the guys are monitoring it, they'll see nobody's doing this. We need to fix it. Right? That would be my suggestion to you. Boycott doing the events to, and, and send Scopely a message saying, I'm not doing these events because they're too ridiculous, they're too tough or whatever it is. However, if we are doing the events and we are achieving within the events, well, then Scopely's going to go, it's working, great and leave it as it is. So it's something for you to think about there, guys. Come in the Discord and chat with us about it if you if you want to discuss further. Daily goal difficulty. We revisited the difficulty of daily goals. Okay, great to hear. Um, the rewards, again, great to hear across the board. We drastically improved the rewards of both daily goals themselves and the meta rewards. Okay, great. And then saying that the feedback's uh, invaluable. So all in all, sound enough. But um, 
but some uh, some complaints still out there, largely due to the communication. This is all well and good. Thanks to the guys for doing this. This is great. There's lots of information coming out to us, but then there's secrecy when questions start getting asked and when people are disappointed when they're free to play. Now you're looking after the pay to win players first. There's a lot of arguing out there at the minute. I had a, I had a very short discussion with Rev Deuce about this um, uh, around the idea that there are st- don't lose your lives just yet, guys. There's loads of stuff coming out. Uh, Rev's opinion is that looking at the bigger picture that um, there's lots of nice things coming out not to judge too quickly or too harshly because uh, we have yet to see what these things are now of course he's privy to certain things because of NDAs and stuff the argument I've been making is that if you if you know what these things are coming and you're happy with what's coming down the line and you're excited about what was, share that with us Share that with us. Let us get excited about it. Maybe we won't be sitting whinging, uh, crying, giving out, uh, harassing people, annoying people, sending fl- loads of messages in, cr- giving out that the, the game's not working, you've left the free- free-to-play players behind, you're only concerned about money. All of these criticisms that are out there in the community, if you're tired of listening to them panic, if you're tired of listening to them scopely, then release some of this information. Use the content creators to release some of this information and tell people in a little bit more detail, even if it means a little bit of speculation. Tell people in a little bit more detail about what we can really expect for the free-to-play and for the wider, wider player uh, base regardless. Okay, guys, so the final thing I want to have me wee bit of a whinge about personally here is... um. What if what if I decide to write? Uh, I want to buy. I want to buy a pack. Screw it. I'm giving up my free to play ways. I'm biting the bullet. I'm selling it. Well, first of all, I have no I have no store option flashing up here on the screen, so I have to go into it in a roundabout way. So so we'll go in here. Let, let's say okay, Prime officers. Um, I really really want them. I do. It's true. I really really want the, these Prime officers. Uh, to hell with it. I'm gonna buy the pack. Right, so in this roundabout way, I get into the store, and I arrive in the store, and the first thing I see is this ultra booster pack. We look at that in a wee second. Where's my, uh, where's my prime officer's pack? It's not even there, right? And the reason for this is because I'm free to play, guys. Uh, because I haven't bought these packs. I tell you, way back, eighteen months ago, two years ago, I did buy a wee small pack or two, quite cheap ones. And I think I spent fifteen quid in all way back, and I got five quid of that maybe refunded. And you know, the big story there that we'll not get into. But um, where, where's my, uh, where's my prime officer's pack? It's not there because I haven't bought packs, and I haven't got to the point of where they're even available to me yet. So what I'd have to do is I have to go and purchase all of these cheap packs until I get the 100 euro packs uh, available to me. And once I've spent those hundreds to even get the pack available, then I have to go and spend more to get the actual pack. So you're talking for me, it mightn't stop at three or four hundred quid just to be able to get that prime pack. So the guys are, you're going about it arse roads lads uh, this is not the way to do business like if you want customers to spend now what I will say in terms of tempting customers to spend 549 for this ultra booster pack just for you so I'm presuming because it's just for me that somebody in Scopely headquarters somebody in Digit somebody somewhere is responsible for these has sat down and went let's put a pack together for Amergen um, now they should have asked me what I wanted in that pack first uh, I might have a wee word with panic and tell them what I want but uh, but we look at this, it's not bad. It's not bad for 549. Uh, we've been calling numerous times for cheaper available packs. Something like this isn't too bad. Now, it's not great, like, it's not It's not getting me all all hot under the collar, but, uh, but if I wanted a quick wee boost, especially some of these speed ups, 549's not too bad, I'd consider it. So, um, it's not all bad about the packs, but it's arse roads you are going about trying to get us to buy this prime stuff, like, um, a player like me who's free to play doesn't even get to see it. Uh, if I wanted to change my my ways and become all of a sudden a, a spender, um, I don't even have the option here. I have to spend maybe three, four, five times the amount just to be able to get that pack available. Come on, lads. Think about what yous are doing here. Yous, yous are looking at this from an ivory tower. You're not looking at this from a practical standpoint where a player's at. So... Uh, so rethink that end of it as well, guys. Um, but there you have it. Um, let me know your thoughts if you've bought any of them packs, guys. Uh, is there value for money in any of them? Um, 
And uh, like I say, I'm going to do, have another couple of videos coming out, uh, one or two interesting ones. Well, I certainly think that they're interesting. Uh, keep an eye out, guys. Hit the hit the reminder button. Hit the wee bell for reminders because one or two videos coming out, not just on further uh, updates to uh, to this new patch and what's uh, what's uh, due uh, on the 23rd, 24th. Uh, I hopefully have a video out and a uh, wee bit of information on on uh, an update on this. Um, but uh, look out for the other stuff that I'm doing as well. I have one or two interesting things coming. And um, until the next time, guys, uh, look after yourselves and look after each other. And I'll catch you all again very, very shortly. Cheers. <laughs>